This episode of Logic Lounge is brought to you by GeeksRiot.com. Save 15% now with coupon code LOGIC15. What's up guys, Creighton here from LogicLounge.com. Today we're looking at Google Drive. And we're going to take a quick look at it and show you all the main features. Google Drive is almost exactly like Dropbox, except that Google has a little bit of an upper advantage because it actually integrates with Google Docs. So you can use it to sync documents to folders. You can also sync files and stuff like that. So Google Docs is really a, a universal cloud storage platform uh, as well as creation platform as well if you're uh, looking for document type uh, collaboration settings as well. So you can have access to anything and everywhere. So you can upload video files, you can upload documents, you can upload zip files, you can upload any random files basically to your Google Drive. It's exactly like Dropbox. There is software that you can install and manage from an online portal as well. You can share files as well. So if you wanted to upload a document and share it with coworkers, you can go ahead and do that. You can have collaboration so you can see people editing. People can edit in real time. That's one thing that I do love about Google Docs. Now, initially, you get five gigabytes for free. Now, that's a lot of space if you really think about it. Five gigabytes, that's, that's like a movie and a half if you were to upload a movie or if you were going to uh, upload music or documents. That's a lot of space even if you're uploading pictures. So there's no real chance for the average user to go over that five gigs of space. But if you do... Google has storage plans for you. Now, initially, you are given uh, five gigabytes of Google Drive, uh, one gigabyte of Picasa, which is already there, and 10 gigabytes of Gmail, which is already there. So you have tons of space already. But if you want even more space, they have storage plans, starting off with their lowest 25 gigabytes for $2 and about 50 cents per month, which is not bad. And that 25 gigabytes is actually an added on top to that five gigabytes of space that you already get. So that's actually 30 gigabytes of space that you get that you can use for whatever you want and it's cloud storage for your use. Now, you can go as high as even 16 terabytes of data for the whopping price of $800 a month. So if you're storage junkie and you like to store everything and you have terabytes of data as the fire engine goes on behind me 16 terabytes that's amazing and if anybody ever uses that please tell me and if you pay for that please let me know because i i don't know anybody who would buy that space but i'm sure someone who does a lot of collaboration or a lot of storage would like that 16 terabytes of space moving on we'll take a look at google drive right here this is google drive it looks exactly like Google Documents, then it is Google Documents basically with the extension of Drive. Now there is software that you can install and it's prompting me to download the Mac software right now and I do have the Mac software. And it's super simple, you can install the software and you have preferences just like this. Now I have paid for the 25 gigabytes of extra space so you see that I have available of 30 gigabytes of space. And if I had more, it would show more. And if you don't want to sync everything in your Google Drive because there's just too much stuff in there or you want to have specific things like someone recommended to me to have a sync folder and only sync that sync folder to my computers, you can go ahead and only sync folders and select the folders that you want. Now you can also choose to sync Google Docs or not. So if you do want to sync all your Google Docs to a local folder, you can. If you don't want to, just uncheck that box. You can also view all your shared documents as well by clicking that link. And you can choose for it to auto start and set crash reports and all that fun stuff. Now, let's take a look at the folder. Once you install the software, you get a folder just like Dropbox, and you can see that I already have documents in my Google Drive, and this was existing from my Google Drive, uh, Google Docs. And you can see here, I have my show notes for my podcast that I do, and a presentation that I have in there. And I can easily access those. Now, if I come back over here to Google Drive, we can show this off and see just how fast this actually is. So I can go create here, and let's just create a regular document. And I want to go blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, once you're done with that and you go back to Google Drive, it's almost instantly 
sync to the folder. So you can see here, boom, right there, it's synced instantly to my folder, this untitled document. And I can open this from within the Google Drive folder, or I can even delete it. And when I delete it and move it to trash, you can also see here that it will delete it off of here. It doesn't take it off in real time, but it does take a couple of seconds of lag time for it to happen. So you can use this to really uh, sync anything and everything, and you can organize things in the folders if you wish. Now, let's see how fast it does take to upload, let's per se. So here I have a music file uploading, and it should take a couple seconds here. And it is syncing, and it does sync pretty fast. I haven't actually had time to test the transfer speeds, but it does sync pretty fast, and I think you will love it. So check it out. You don't have it yet. You can go request access at drive.google.com. You can pay for extended storage and all that fun stuff. So check it out. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. And we're going to start a new thing. We're going to start the comment question of the week. Now, the comment question of the week is, how do you like Google Drive? My challenge to you is to go out there, try out Google Drive, put it through stretch tests, put it through real life situations, and let me know how it works. Put your answers in the comment below, and your comment can be featured in the next Logic Lounge Wednesday review video. So until next week, we'll see you guys later. You've probably got some pretty boring shirts, right? Well, it's time to change all that. Visit geeksriot.com and pick from the hottest geeky shirts. Not only for men, but for women too. For watching Logic Lounge today, you get 15% off. That's 15% off your entire order. Use coupon code LOGIC15, that's LOGIC15 at checkout to save. Not only are you getting some amazing apparel, but you're also supporting the show.